In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly take settings from one particular object in Embroidery Studio and apply it to a new embroidery object. Now, take this lettering object that I have here on screen. I've applied a whole bunch of settings to that object. I selected a particular font. I've changed the fill density to 95% of auto spacing, and I've also added a jagged effect, a jagged edge, just for a little bit of a, a kind of fancy effect to that font design. Now, if I was to add a new lettering object, and if I wanted to apply those settings to that new lettering object, you'd normally have to remember what font did you use and what was that spacing you had and what was the jagged edge setting that you applied as well. And you might have also applied maybe a dozen other different settings that you have to remember to apply to that lettering object. Well, there's a simple and quick tip. You can right click on that existing lettering object and select make properties current. And then right click on that new lettering object and select apply current properties. And without you having to remember, it will instantly apply all those settings to that object. Now, yes, of course, it is lettering, so I could have just copied that down and I could have gone over to my properties and changed that to the new lettering that I want it to be, because you can do that with lettering. But what if it's not a lettering object? Now, if I hit P on my keyboard and pan across, you can see here I've got a oval shape that I've created and a rectangle shape that I've created, two completely different shapes. I can't just clone one and modify the shape. It'll take me longer to reshape it than it would be to digitize it from scratch. So again, the same rules apply. I can select that existing object, right click, make properties current, select the new object, right click, apply current properties, and those settings are instantly applied to your embroidery design. And that's your quick tip.